Hey crafty people, it's Tasha here for Time for Tea Designs and I'm back with another tutorial video. So today I'm going to be using this Home for the Holidays die set um, because I wanted to show you that it's not just a holiday die, you can use this die for anything. So I'm going to use this um, Slimline, I think it's Village Border again. I'm just shocking with names, but I will have it linked below. So I'm going to cut this from the top of an A2 panel of Nina 80 pound. What I love about this die is that it cuts a border out, it but leaves that attached to the rest of your panel, which is pretty awesome. So I cut all of the little bits that you need for assembling this these two little houses just from some scraps of cardstock that you can see there and um, I cut some from some glitter just to add a little bit of something extra and these are really easy to fit together um, and you can yeah you can just let your imagination run wild with them and they the set does come with some like snowy um like basically dies to make snow that sit on the roof um, and on the window ledges and things, um, which I think is super cool. But I'm not doing it as a holiday card. I wanted, because I wanted to show you that you can use this all year round. You know, you could use this for a new home card, for example. Um, I think that that would be really cool. So I'm using some double sided tape that I'm just popping there behind the main house structure bit um, so that I can add the windows and door um, on and it'll just stick to that double sided tape and then when I'm finished creating them I can peel off the backing from that and that will then give me the adhesive to stick it straight to my card. So I tried to keep with just a sort of small number of colours, um, quite a small colour palette because I wanted it to feel really cohesive. So I'm adding the doors, then I've got the little door handles, um, I've done the, there's like a window at the top of the, the taller house, um, I've done that the same colour as the door. And then I wasn't sure what to do with the windows um, and I decided to just add the cutout pieces that come from the actual house themselves um, and just put those back in because I just felt like that looked good. So there's some trees that you get in this set. There's a couple of different types um, and you've also got some trunks. So I cut the trunks out um, and added them to the bottom of those ones. Um, and then I'm going to work on the rest of my background and then we'll put together the final scene. So I wanted to ink blend sky that can go behind that village border that we've got across the top of that card panel. So I've just grabbed another piece of £80 Nina and I'm using some Catherine Pooler inks um, just to blend, blend a nice coloured sky. So I keep bringing the panel in just to make sure that I don't don't want to be going too far down um, with this because I don't want to waste the ink all the time. So I'm just keeping an eye on where how far I need to go down. So for some colour difference, I've just added some darker blue around the edges. Then I've used some double sided tape to adhere that together um, and then for my sentiment I'm using this let's hang out sentiment um, and that comes from the sloth set um, I thought that that was a cute little sentiment to have so I'm attaching all of my putting my scene together and um, I used liquid glue for some of the bits and I've also used some um, well, we've got that, that double-sided tape on the back of the houses, um, but I do use some foam tape as well just to give me a little bit of dimension. And I really like how those just white silhouette houses look against this sky with the, this little scene 
in the foreground. Um, and I think that the let's hang out sentiment looks really cute. I think it works well. Um, it's like, you know, things are hopefully tentatively getting a little bit more back to normal. Um, and the idea that you could actually go and hang out in a friend's house is pretty exciting for me. <laughs> so as you can see there, I've just used some um, foam squares to pop up that second house and also one of the trees. Um, and that's my little scene. It was so quick and easy to make. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to inspire you to look at your Christmas and festive dies and stamps and see them in a different way so that we can use them all year around and really get the most out of our supplies. I hope that you will hit that thumbs up button. Please do consider subscribing to our channel if you aren't already and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our uploads. I hope that you have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.